All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yah, Basham al Shai, Basham Rakhadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim. All the true believers out there, okay, we're uh, in the last days, the latter end of the last days, okay, so this should be like Chanak, uh, doing a, a, a sit down lesson this time. And uh, the lesson uh, is going to be called the Sword of the Spirit. And this is the weapon that we brandish, okay? Okay, it's the sword of the spirit, which is the scriptures, okay, which uh, is Yahweh Shai. That's our weapons, okay? Not not like guns and knives and, you know, carnality. We we, we carry the spirit of Yahweh Basham Shai, and this is the, the, the ultimate weapon on the planet Earth, okay? Because this weapon is a weapon in the spirit, okay? Because you can, uh, you can kill the body with a gun, you know, by carnal means. But you can you can destroy, okay, somebody with the sword of the spirit, which is the correct way, okay, the correct breakdowns, the correct understanding of the scriptures, man. Okay, this is Hebrews 4 and 12, and it reads, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So there's no weapon that's ever been created that uh is more powerful and sharper, okay, than than uh than the word of Yah Bashem al Shai. Okay, because this word is come from the heavens. Okay, this word comes from uh, the Heavenly Father Himself. Okay, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. So when you bring this word out, this, this cuts your soul, this cuts your spirit, man. Okay, and of the joints and the marrows, and is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So this uh, shows what type of a man you are. Okay, this this ultimately shows if you uh, believe in the Heavenly Father or not, or or you are Satanist, because we bring out these scriptures to the children of Israel. We're not dealing with you other nations. The Most High has never dealt with you. Okay, Esau, he has never dealt with you. Okay, We're, I'm I'm primarily speaking about uh, uh, you you Israelites. Okay, this this uh, this word when we bring it out in the proper context, okay, uh, it cuts you. It cuts you to the heart to where you want to kill us. Okay, why? Why? When we bring out, uh, if you bring out uh, another book, okay, you bring out the Quran, the Book of the Dead, you're not going to have anybody come up against you. Why? Because those those books contain no life. All right, this this book that we read, it contains life and it's a sword. So when we when we're out there, we we got a, we got a, we got the most powerful weapon on the planet Earth. Okay, and this is that truth. The only truth, okay? There's no other truth. Uh, besides what we have, okay, the, the the weapons that we're brandishing, and we're we're slicing people up, all right, we're cut we're cutting you to the soul, okay, through, all through the spirit and power of Yah Basham Al Shai, okay, because this word is powerful, okay, and it, it's so it's so much it's 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 so powerful that uh, prophecies are coming to pass when we speak, okay, the Lord through His prophets, okay, uh, He's making things happen on the earth, but in order for those things to happen. We have to bring those scriptures out. And when we bring those scriptures out, spirits get raised up. So we're not going to bring uh, weapons to the camp. We don't need no goddamn gun. We don't need a, 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 a actual sword, a machete, a samurai sword. We don't need daggers. All right. We don't need grenades. We don't need a bulletproof vest. We have, we have the, uh, the sword of the spirit. Okay. We have the breastplate of righteousness. All right. We have the shield uh, 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 of faith. Okay, so those are our weapons. Let me bring another scripture out. It's Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Okay, so we have total uh, protection. Okay? Because the only weapon that's out there, the only the only, only valuable weapon that's out there that you can have and, and have a surety of life is the scriptures, man. Okay, in the proper breakdown of the scriptures. So it says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that thou, that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. So any of you, I don't want to so-called curse, any of you bonehead Israelites come against us, we're going to condemn you through the scriptures. Okay? We're going to tell you that the Most High is going to destroy you. And that, that rouses up uh, uh, you wicked of our, of our people. Okay? You, you want to kill us because of that. Because we tell you, the, uh, if you don't follow the laws of Yah Basham al Shai, that you're going to die. Okay? So you get upset. You get mad. You get emotional. All right? 
is because <laughs> you know that these words are true. Because if we, if we were just some regular degler uh, jakes out there, you wouldn't even take us serious. But because we brandish the sword of the spirit, which is cutting your spirit up, it's, cu it's, it's, it's digging you deep, man. Are you, you having nightmares? Okay. You, you, you having doubts? Are you, you having dreams of, of you getting put to death? Okay. Because you're wicked. That's why. Okay. And then all, then your life is going bad or just because it's because you heard the word because you got sliced up and you're wicked. Now the Lord, if you do get sliced up, that's a good thing because the Lord, if you follow his ways, he can heal you. He, he's the only one that can heal those wounds. So this, this, uh, the sword, of the spirit is it, a, it's a two edged sword. I mean, it's going to cut you on both sides. Okay. Yet the, the scriptures also is a healing ointment. Okay, they can I, I can heal you also, but Jake don't want that. Okay, they want to continue to get sliced up. Oh, okay, until that ultimately that body is going to be destroyed. So you 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 Jake's that that's going to come against us. That's going to bring guns to the camp. Okay, uh, that's going to bring knives to the camp and threaten our lives. All right, the Most High he's going to destroy you. Okay, and you and you're mad because we have the ultimate weapon. Okay, on, uh, in the universe, and that's the sword of the spirit. Okay, that's the words of Yah Bashim al Shai. All right, and you can't come against that. Okay, you, 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 there's no way that you can um, actually um, defeat us. All right, it says, This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. You can't come against us, man. You can, you can, you can try, but you're going to fail miserably. Just like the so called white man, he's going to come against us. All right, he gonna, he, and, we gonna, and some of us going to be martyrs. Yet, in the grand scheme of things, He's not going to be able to destroy this because this is um this is a uh, 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 divine okay let me bring out another scripture give me a second all right the Lord he's using he's going to use divine intervention give me a second I'm gonna pull this up uh where's that scripture uh this is Acts five. And uh, 38, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if that, for if his counsel or his work be of men, it will come to naught. OK, so if this counsel or the work that we're doing, if it be of men, all right, it's going to come to naught. So why would you bother us? Why would you get mad? Because you're getting cut by the sword of the spirit. That's why. All right. But if you was a spiritual man, which which you're not, which a lot of our people are not. They're carnal, okay. The the uh, uh, the natural man. You're a natural man, okay. You you can't understand uh, uh the, the the position that you're in. You don't know what the hell is going on, all right. But so if this thing was of man, it's gonna come to naught. Why why take time out of your day to come against us? It's because you're getting cut in the spirit, all right. We, you, you're getting sliced up, all right. You, your the body is still alive, right? But that's even more hell because once the body is dead. All right, the spirit's gonna go to the heavens, and you and, and and there is no pain in heaven. Okay, there is no there is there is no pain and sorrow and in 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 the spiritual world. But your your body's still alive, and and you're suffering every single day because this word keeps cutting your ass up, and and, and you just can't you can't uh you know just go go along your day because the Most High is gonna keep putting it in your mind to come back to get your ass uh condemned even more. Okay. Until that body is totally destroyed. Uh, verse 39. But if it be of the most high. Ye cannot overthrow it. Alright. From our apostles and elders on down. When has this thing been overthrown? Alright. And you, you can't even see that. You can't even see that. Uh, uh, you can't overthrow this. Because you don't have that power. You don't have the power to overthrow. Uh, Yahweh Hashem al Shai. Because you're not, you're not really coming against us. You're coming against the father. You're coming against the son. But if it be of the most high, ye cannot overthrow it, least happily ye be found even to fight against the most high. So you Israelites that come against us, you're actually fighting against the, the one who created you. OK, and you're going to you're going to lose horribly. You're going to lose miserably. OK, are you going to be uh, destroyed by famines? Are you going to be destroyed by wild animals? Are you going to be destroyed by the sword, ultimately the nuclear missile? Are you going to get locked up in detention camps? The most high is going to put pain upon you. Okay, for coming against his men, coming against his uh his servants. Okay, so we don't need uh we don't need weapons uh um 
Uh, we don't need physical weapons. We have the uh, the ultimate weapon, okay, that's ever been created, and that's the sword of the spirit, which is the the word of Yahweh Shai. And, and and it's cut it's cutting everybody. It's cutting everybody up. That's wicked, okay. Uh, I'm done there. Let me go to another scripture. This is Second Corinthians, ten and three. For we walk in the flesh. We do not war after the flesh. Yeah, we're in bodies. We're in bodies just like everybody else. All right. Yet, yet we do not, uh, our warfare, okay, uh, the way that we come to the battle is not uh, through fleshly means. All right. We don't have bullet, bullet, bulletproof vests. All right. We don't have little pistols and, and we're not at the shooting range preparing and doing push-ups and sit-ups and, you know, going through military training. No, we, we doing all those things spiritually. Are we spiritually got a, a so-called bulletproof vest? We spiritually got uh, uh, guns, okay? I mean, we're, we spiritually, basically, we spiritually got weapons, okay? And we have a, we ultimately we have protection from Yahweh Bashamal Shai through His angels that are protecting us. Let me bring that out, okay? Psalms thirty uh thirty four. Okay, the Lord's uh servants are being protected. Psalm 34 and 7, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So you, 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 Jakes, are, you don't have a surety of life. We know ultimately the most I can call our, our spirit. But if we're found doing what we, what we're supposed to do, we found with fear that Yahweh Bashamashah is going to protect us. And even though uh, some of us will be martyrs for this thing, our works are going to follow us. So we're going to come, we're going to come back. We're going to come back good. We're going to be all right. All right. Uh, the scriptures talk about. Uh, let me bring it out. Not to fear them that can kill the body. Okay. Real quick. This is uh, Luke twelve and four. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. So they can't. They 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 can't do anything. Okay. After that. All right. All they can do is just kill the body. All right. Uh, uh, you know, a few minutes, few seconds. All right. Uh, uh, you know, you feel pain, but you're going back into the spiritual world and all the works that you've done. OK, they're going to follow you. Yahweh Shema is going to be well pleased with you. And you're still going to get that. Uh, you're, you're, uh, you're still going to get uh, that that reward and you're and you're uh, you're going to go back into rest. So you're going to rest from all your labors. OK, uh, unlike unlike you, uh, you Jake's here. All right, that are disobedient to the Heavenly Father, he going to put pure pain on you. All right. But I forewarn you whom ye shall fear, fear him which after he shall kill. Uh, I'm sorry. Fear him which after he has killed has power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Yeah, fear the Heavenly Father. Okay. Because he, he, can, he can jack you up. I want to bring out another scripture real quick. Give me a second. So yeah, you Jakes are being, uh, what is this? Uh, yeah, you Jakes are being uh, reserved for destruction. Second Peter's 2 and 9, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So you wicked among our people, you're being reserved. So you think, okay, I can, you know, I can come against the prophets and talk my BS and then, um, you know, I can go along my day, you know, I can eat my Captain Crunch. I can, you know, eat my McDonald's hamburgers, talk shit, smoke blunts, you know, and everything's going to be all right. Yeah, they they still out there. They, they, they ain't doing nothing. Yeah, the most high, he's he's reserving you until the day of judgment. OK, because you 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 still let me bring out another scripture. Uh, You still going to receive a judgment for that, man. OK, for everything that uh, you have done. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach. That's what you feel to realize that you, you're you going to have to uh, uh, appear before Yahweh Shai. Okay, you're going to have to appear. You're going to have to be judged. Okay, everybody's going to be judged. That everyone may receive the things done in his body. So it, everything that you've done on the planet Earth, you're going to have to have a recompense for that. Whether it be, it's going to go into it. According to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. So whether you've done good on the Earth, or whether you've done bad on the earth, you're going to receive a reward. Now, there's a reward of the wicked and there's a reward of the righteous. Okay? And two-thirds of our people that come, especially those who come against this word, you're going to receive the reward of the wicked. 
What's part of the reward of the wicked? Well, uh, thermonuclear fire. Okay, your your skin being melted. Your uh, uh your eyes and your your tongue. Okay, uh, while you stand upon your 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 feet, you are gonna get hit with nuclear missiles. And before that, are uh the Most High? He gonna hit you with diseases. He gonna hit you with famines. You gonna see death all around you. Okay, you're going to get locked up in detention centers. And those detention centers, they ain't going to be like a regular prison system, all right? And there's going to be regulations that the uh, correctional officer, okay, the, uh, you know, that's going to, you know, they have to treat you humane or something. No, they ain't going to treat you humane in those things, all right? You, you're going to be shitting all over yourself. It's going to be diseases in, in there, all right? Uh, you might uh, not even go without food, okay? You're going to see death. You're going to see uh, a rape, all right? You gonna get you gonna be getting extorted, all right? You gonna be cold. They ain't gonna give me no uh no no clothes, all right? Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get uh rough out here for you Israelites that come against this word, okay? And you can't and you can't win, okay? You can't win because you're coming against the sword of the spirit. You coming against the words of Yahweh Shemal Shah. You're not even coming against us, okay? You coming against the heavenly Father and His Son. And, and they don't, they, they're not, they not going to take that lightly. Okay. By the way, you coming, you coming against your creators. All right. <laughs> Say, yeah, you, you, uh, you Jake's, you don't even know that you're doing evil when you come against this word. Okay. Cause this word is supposed to, uh, be for your benefit, but since you can't discern those things, okay. You can't discern that this word is for you or you won't even consider, uh, Yah Basham al Shai and his majesty and his power. Well, the most high, he gonna, he gonna, you're going to be brought to the king of terrors, man. All right, so you're going to have to receive judgment all right, uh, in your body, whether you have done good or evil. And uh, two-thirds of, of our people, they're evil, okay? Um, back in 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 10 and 4 now, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Yeah, we don't have guns. Okay, I don't, I don't own no goddamn gun. What do I need a gun for? Now, sir, brothers that own guns, they might have been in the military. They, ain't, you know, but that, but, but our the way that we war, we war in the spirit. We war, uh, we war by words. Our our warfare is through words, and not just any words. Okay, uh, the the words of the scriptures. Okay, because we can we can go out there and and, and so called sound intellectual, and we went out there without the Bible. Okay, and sound intellectual, it'll be all type of goddamn people uh, listening to us. Okay. Our right, brothers that can speak that are orators, that can make certain points and bring out certain things, you know, sound real, sound real, you know, smart, so to speak. It'd be all type of people listen to us. Yeah, that's right, brother. You say, say that they'll they'll come from afar just to listen to us. Look at the conscious community. But as soon as we open up the scriptures, then they see things change, you know. Because uh, th this book is living, man. And this book is an actual weapon. Okay? This book is an actual weapon. And it's a, it's, a, it's a divine weapon. Okay? It's a divine weapon from the heavens. Alright? And, and, and when these, 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 this book gets open, you know, people start, in, they start to scatter. And you can't, you can't be in the presence of Yah Basham al Shai hearing these words. And you're you wicked as hell. All right, what's gonna happen? You are gonna get cut in the spirit, and you you gonna get upset, you are gonna get mad, and you are gonna try to come against the messengers. Okay, so when we open up, when we when we speak, we speak by the oracles of Yah Basham al Shah. We speak with the sword of the spirit. Because that's the only weapon that's gonna prosper. No other weapon is gonna prosper. Our own thoughts and intents. Okay, I can talk about this. I can talk about that. You know, I know uh, about Esau's uh, his. Uh, the, the things that he's doing, I can go into the elites and their, their new world order. People will love hearing that, you know. I remember uh, we were speaking one uh, one day, and uh, you know, some two uh, Latin tribes came. Can you, can you can you talk about the the elites, like the like the, uh, the Rothschild? They want to hear about the Rothschild, and then they then they then they were they were gone because as soon as the scriptures open up, because all those things to get the proper understanding, you have to go back to the scriptures. Okay, to get the proper and full spectrum of this uh, of what's going on in the planet Earth. You have to go back to the scriptures. But uh, let me bring this scripture out. It's going it's going pretty much uh, explain the reason why Jake don't want, don't want to come back to the Lord and don't want to hear these things. John three and uh and nineteen. 
it says, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, which is the scriptures. Okay. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. All right. So you can talk about the Illuminati. You can talk about uh, Georgia Guidestones. You can talk about the, uh, you know, Esau um, uh, vaccinating your children and how uh, he wants to kill off a lot of the population. And, you know, the, the founding founders were black. You know, you can talk about all that. Right. But once you start opening up the scriptures and really start hitting home while all these things are happening. You see, you see our people, they start to scatter because men love darkness rather than light. For everyone that doeth evil, hateth the light. See, so they hate these words. When we bring these words out, all right, they hate, they hate them. That's the reason why they can't, they can't bear these things. That's the reason why when you, when you look at the camps, you don't see a whole bunch of Israelites. Okay. Uh, listening. Because uh, men love darkness rather than light. And they hate the light. They hate Yahweh Shai. And we speak Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai is a, is, a, is a sword. And he's cutting you niggas up, man. Alright? He's cutting you niggas up. And when I say nigga, that's a blanket, blanket statement, okay? To all you tribes. Alright? The, the wicked of, of, of our people. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither, neither cometh to the light. See? They're not going to come to the light. Least his deeds should be reproved. They don't want correction. Uh, you know what? Let me go to, um, what is that scripture? Yeah, let me, yep, I got it right here. Give me a second. This is uh, Proverbs 15. And... Yep, Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. Yo, correction, when we bring out these words, we're correcting you. And it's grievous to those that forsake the way, to the wicked of our people. And he that hateth reproof, you hate being corrected. You hate, uh, let's look at this word reproof real quick. It's Chawa, uh, Chawa, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Chawa, Ch, 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 it's, it's, it's a long word, slack if I, I butchered it, but you can go into it. It's, um, uh, it's H3198. It means rebuke, correction, reproof, punishment, chastisement, argument, reproof, argument, impeachment, reproof, correction. Rebuke. So let's go back and uh, read that verse again. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. And he that hateth reproof. So you hate being corrected. You hate being rebuked. All right. You hate being uh, put in the right direction. It says, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Okay. So you're going to you're going to die. And that's what we tell you. And you get upset about that. But we're just telling you the truth. What did, uh, what did Paul t uh, tell you? Have I become therefore your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yes. Because our people, they want what? They want smooth words. They want us to prophesy deceit. They want us to uh, tell them that the what they're doing is okay. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to go back into second. I'm going to finish up second Corinthians. So 2 Corinthians uh, 10 and 4 again, for our weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty. See, we have weapons, man. We have weapons. The main weapon, really the only weapon that we have, okay, are, is the sword of the spirit. We also have that, um, we also have uh, uh, the shield, the shield of faith, okay? What's that shield? Got a buckler on it, okay? Look up the word buckler. What is a buckler used for? And ancient warfare. You can also uh, bash people's heads in with that buckler. All right. So the Lord, He's our He's our shield and our buckler. So we have the sword, sword of the spirit. Okay, and we also have the the breast. Uh, we have the, uh, uh, the 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 shield of faith. Okay, which we can we can dodge. We can block all the fiery darts of the wicked. And two thirds of you people, uh, of our people, they 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 uh they're in the in that number. 
but mighty through the mighty through the most high. So that's where we get our power from. We get our power from Yahweh Shai to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth against the knowledge of the most high and bring it into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. OK, so we got man, we got that sword of the spirit, man, that's just slicing up Jake. You know, and Jake does not want reproof. They don't, they don't want to be reproved. They don't want correction. You rebuke them. They get upset. They want to kill you, you know, because we're dealing with a rebellious house, a house that's not going to listen to, to the heavenly father. You not see, you, you think you, you, uh, you coming against us and you got to listen to us. Nah, you not, you ain't got to listen to us. You got to listen to the words that we're saying. And all right. And that goes for, uh, all the body. All right. We can't be disobedient. All right. That first and foremost, I'm speaking to myself. I got to be obedient to y'all about Shema Shai or what? Or I'm going to get judged. It's a simple, it's, it's literally as simple as that. But our people, they're uh, self-willed, they're disobedient, they're hard-headed, they're stiff-necked, all right? And they don't want to listen. They think they, they know it all. Well, the most high, he's going to show you that you don't know shit. And excuse my language, you don't know nothing, okay? This is Ephesians uh, 6. In 11, put on the whole armor of the Most High. Let me go to 10 slot. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Yeah, because we got power, okay? We have spiritual power, all right, through uh, through uh, Yahweh Shai, which is the word. Put on the whole armor of the Most High. What proves that is, well, we're still on the highways and hedges, right? We're still preaching the word, right? All right, uh, uh, nothing has happened to us, right? All right, uh, they come up with guns and knives and shit. Nothing has happened to us because we have power. All right, you coming against you coming against the heavenly Father when you do those things. You're not even coming against us. All right, we're just a servant. We're just a messenger. We're just giving you the message. We didn't create this message, okay? That's not what that's what you're not understanding. We didn't create this message. The, the Lord put the message in, inside of our mouths and our hearts to, to to tell you the message, and you hate the messenger, okay? It says, uh, put on the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And you, two thirds of you, uh, you Jakes, you fall into that, uh, you fall, uh, you fall right into that, that, uh, that, that number of the depth of the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. See, we're not even looking at you, looking at you, you know, as, uh, you know, physical means. Now we know you got all type of spirits on you. We know Satan is, Satan is on you, you, you Jakes, man. But against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yeah, you're being controlled by spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, that goes into the elites. And that also uh, uh, that really goes into Satan. Because uh, Satan, which is the prince of the air, he controls the things that are happening right now on the left hand side in this world. And we know that uh, perverseness and wickedness is prospering right now. And there's just a little bit of righteousness out there in the form of Yahweh Shemashai's men. But Satan can't come against Satan comes against uh the Lord, okay, Lord's men. But he knows that he can't uh he can't uh overthrow us because he actually worked for Yahweh Shemashai. So everything that is happening is being sanctioned by the Heavenly Father. Okay? So right then and there we we understand those things. So we're we're not we're not afraid. The Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear. Okay? Stand therefore, and we are we are standing, having your loins girt about with truth, okay, and having a breast and having on the breastplate of righteousness. This, we basically we embody the spirit of Yahweh Bashma Shai. This is what it's going into, okay. So we we have our loins girt, okay, uh, 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 as men. But well, you don't see no women out there in the battlefield. All right, um, uh, you know they come in with guns. You know, Jake coming with guns and knives and shit. Where where is a woman supposed to be? The woman's supposed to be in the in the damn house. She can't she can't uh handle those things. All right, we're in a, we're in a, on the front lines. We're in a, we're in the heat of the battle when we out there, man. We're 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 subject to uh to all these spirits. We're we're or we're subject to the elements, okay? Because we're we're in battle, and the only way to um to uh to to survive that battle. Is the faith in Yahweh Shemal Shai, which you're gonna you're gonna embody all these things that we're going into right now. You're gonna embody the, the uh, have your loins girt. You're gonna embody having the breastplate of righteousness. Okay, 
and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yeah, we're ready to teach. Okay, we're prepared. When we go out there, we're prepared. We, uh, the scriptures say, prepare your mind likewise. Let me read. Let me bring that out. Let me bring that out real quick. We we uh we counted the cost. All right, knowing that hey, we can we can die. We can die out there. All right, we can get locked up. Brothers been locked up. Brothers, uh, you know, try to sucker punch us, you know, pull guns out on us, threaten us with our lives. You know, demons come against us to try to have us not believe this anymore. First Peter's four and one for as, as for for as much then as Hamashiach has suffered for us in the flesh. And part of Yahweh's sufferings was suffering you bonehead Israelites, man, coming against him. All right, trying to put him to death. He had to suffer that, man. All right, so uh, that suffering is going into patience. So he had to be paid. He, he was very patient. Okay. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. So we read about the things uh, that happened in Yahweh Shai. We have to arm ourselves. When, uh, what do they call weapons? Arms. Okay. He, he, he was armed. So we arm ourselves with the spirit, the spirit of the sword, the breastplate of righteousness. We have our, our, our feet saw with the preparation of the saints. I mean, the, prep, uh, the preparation. Uh, how does it go again? Let me see. Uh, it says the preparation of the gospel of peace, because ultimately we're preaching uh, the gospel of peace. You know, let me bring that out real quick. This is uh, Romans 10 and 15. Uh, and, and how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach? The gospel of peace. Cause so when the Most High, when He sees us out there on the highways and hedges, bringing out His word, He's looking at that as uh, as being beautiful. Okay, He looks at the whole of the, uh, of the rest of the world. It is nothing but wickedness, man, perverseness. All right, women, whores, sodomites, trannies. Okay, uh, uh, pedophilia, zoophilia. Okay, uh, uh, eating abominable foods, worshiping gods, idols. But then he looks at his his men, that small sanctuary, and he looks at that as beautiful. So you think he ain't gonna pr protect that? You think he gonna uh, allow you you Jakes to come against us? You you you're not gonna be able to kill the prophets this time. All right, you gonna get put to you gonna get put to death. All right, Lord, he gonna protect his men. That's that was written and that was promised unto us. So it says, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. And bring glad tidings of good things. Okay, so so we're we're really bringing good things. Okay, we're saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, prepare yourself. All right, the day of the Lord is at hand. All right, because we we preach um destruction because that's what's that's what's going to happen. But we also preach a lot a large portion of the, or a portion of the the gospel is salvation to the elect. Yet. We understand that you have to go through tribulation in order to go into rest. You know, so the Lord, he's going to protect uh, 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 um, the apple of his eye. And it's, not, it's the apple of his eye is not two thirds of you, you black, Hispanic and Native Americans. Ultimately, through the loins of the elect, you're going to come back righteous. But the Lord is looking at you as another nation. OK, so when, when he looks at you, he ain't looking at you as an Israelite. He ain't well pleased with you. OK, he, he's looking at you with hatred. Uh, uh, he's looking at you as an enemy, and then you're gonna come against his servants. All right, see, uh, you <laughs> you you gonna you gonna receive a great judgment for that. So the Lord is looking at us as being uh, as as uh, uh, he's happy. You know, he's happy with those sacrifices. Okay, because when we out there, we we uh, our body is a living sacrifice. All right, give me a second. Let me go. Uh, I'm done. I'm done in Romans. All right. So the Lord, he set us up. Let me go back to Ephesians. Uh, verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So the most important thing that we, mu we must have is that faith. Okay. Is the faith in Yah Basham al Shah. And that's going to save us from everything, man. All right, it's going to save us from all the wicked, all the fiery darts of the wicked. And, and two thirds of you, Jakes, 
you fall into that that same category as being a uh, uh, wicked, as being a Satan, okay? And you try to come against us. All right, so we going the, the the spirit of the Lord is gonna block all all those wicked imaginations. All right, they're gonna be destroyed. And the same evil that you um try to uh, uh imagine against us, all right, that that evil is gonna be amplified and turned back to you. All right, um the Most High is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So if you reaping wicked imaginations uh, uh, upon Yah Bashmashai's elect, you're gonna receive a, a, a greater judgment. You know, you you in your mind you want to kill us, right? Well, the most he gonna kill you, all right? He gonna kill, you gonna kill, you gonna destroy you and your family, all right? You want to come against the Lord's servants, all right? Uh, verse seventeen, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the Most High. So we have the sword of the spirit, and uh, that's the reason why nobody can come against us now. And we were out there on our own accord, all right? We were to speak, we just. All right, we just a bunch of brothers that just met up on a weekend, all right, and regular clothes, and we were just speaking, speaking our own hearts. Man, the most I would destroy that. The most I ain't dealing with that, and that's why all these other groups they get destroyed. Yet the Lord, He said, "What the apostles last." All right, and you can't come against this. All right, you can try to come against this, but your reeky dink ass is going to be destroyed, and that and that's bottom line. Because you're fighting against a higher power. You're not fighting against us. You're fighting against Yah Basham al Shai. You can't contend with the Lord. Your, your arms are too short. All right? <laughs> you, can't even, you can't even win against Esau. All right? Esau, come in. Esau wants to come in. He'll grab you niggas up and lock you up. All right? You can have the best lawyers. All right? Your ass is still getting, getting a, a, a railroad in the court system. All right? So you have no chance coming against the Heavenly Father. All right? Coming against his servants. Let me bring this out. Give me a second. This is a uh, Psalms 105 and uh, 14. He suffered no man to do them wrong. So you can't do wrong to us. You can try. All right. He reproved kings for their sakes. So the Lord reproving kings. What are you low level niggas doing? The most high reproving kings for, for his prophets, for his men, for his servants. Saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. See? So you can't you can't harm us. Only thing that you can do, the only thing that's gonna happen to us is it, it, it's sanctioned by Yah Bashima Shah himself. He has to put that seal on it. Okay? And he ain't gonna allow you, you weak ass Jakes, okay, to do anything to his prophet. Because you already did it. You killed all the you killed all the prophets beforehand. And you and you gave his son up. So, man, you Jakes are gonna be destroyed. Okay, the Lord, he has something prepared for you. Alright. He has he has death prepared for you, for you wicked among our people. Alright, so you can't do nothing against us. We have divine protection. Okay? And you can bring all the little rinky deep pistols, whether they loaded or not loaded. Because even within that, you still have fear of the, of the so-called white man coming against you. Because he'll 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 blow your brains out, and he's gonna get off, and he's gonna be justified, and you're gonna be um, a mocked all on all on TV. Okay. So you have you have no chance, man. The Most High can destroy your life. All right. He he can put pure hell upon you. He can he can make you uh, uh um paralyzed, brain dead, and you still be conscious. Okay? Esau do all type of crazy shit to you, weird things to you, got you in dungeons, all right, torturing you. So hey man, you, you know, you can't come against Yah Bashim al Shai. Alright, that's a power that you don't wanna uh you don't wanna fight against. And you and you Jake, since you're so simple, you fighting against you fighting against the Lord, man. Uh, I'll, I have this last scripture here. Uh, where am I going to start? Uh, there was a point. Yeah, let me just, you know, I'm just going right, to go right to the point. It pertains to Esau, but it also pertains to the wicked of our people. This is second, 
2 Thessalonians 2 and 8, and then shall that wicked be revealed. It's speaking about Esau, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. So the Lord is, is consuming Esau in this society right, through the spirit of his mouth, which is the mouth, which is the prophets. And the prophets are doing what? They're they're brandishing, okay, the, the sword of the spirit, which is cutting this place up. Okay, and, and two thirds of you, Jake, you fall right into that line because ye are of the father of the devil. Of your father the devil, okay? You came you come in that same spirit. You come in that same spirit of Cain, a murderer. Alright, so the most high will destroy you, man. So he's consuming you right now with the spirit of his mouth. Alright, which is the sword of the spirit, which is his prophets out there on the highways and hedges, okay, uh prophesying. And you Jakes are getting, you know, that spirit is getting stirred up inside of you, man, to where you don't want to hear this word no more. All right. <laughs> you don't want to hear this word no more. Esau is going to come to a point where Esau don't want to hear this word no more. He's going to come and get us. OK, but but through the spirit of power, you know what? Let me. um, Let me just hold this scripture on deck through the spirit of power. Yah, Bash, Mashai, the Lord, he going to he going to uh, 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 he going to uh, raise up a standard. OK. I'm going to hold this on deck. And we'll end it off there. OK. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8 and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming so Esau you're going to be destroyed right and yo 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 uh the yo you Israelites that are uh, hand in hand with Esau you're going to be destroyed also right along with the Lord coming back cuz the Lord going to come back he going to destroy a lot of you Israelites you know what I got another scripture before we end off in um Isaiah 59, we're going to go to Isaiah 55, 66, I'm sorry. Isaiah 50, uh, 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and rebuke and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire, excuse me, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So a lot of you Israelites are going to get put to death. All right. The Lord, he gonna come back. And he gonna be angry at you, cause you're not gonna have, you're not gonna have the covering of Yah Bashem Al Shai on you. You gonna have uh the the covering of Egypt, okay? You are gonna trust in the shadow of Egypt, and you are gonna be destroyed with Egypt, meaning A.K.A. Babylon, okay? Right along with your brother Esau, okay? Cause you love him, all right? You love your father Esau. You love Satan. You love this world. So let me end it off here, cause you're not gonna be able to do anything to us. Uh, two thirds of you wicked ass jakes. Okay, this is Isaiah fifty nine and nineteen. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west. All right, we we fear the name of Yah Bashmashai, which you jakes you don't. Okay, we do, and it's glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood. Okay, so the enemy is gonna come in. You low level niggas, you ain't nothing, man. The enemy gonna come in. He gonna sweep you niggas off your feet. Straight up. Okay? The enemy is talking about Esau. He gonna come in, man. And he come he coming in to kill. The Lord gonna give him that little he gonna have that small season where he gonna go crazy. Okay? And you ain't go, oh I got constitutional rights. Alright, your little your little Glock nine or whatever you you low level niggas have, you got guns with no bullets in there, or you got a couple of bullets. Alright, that ain't gonna do nothing. He gonna come in, he gonna just sweep you. A lot of you niggas gonna get took it out in the first wave. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. So that's, man, we, we ain't worried about you low-level niggas, man. We know that Esau going to come in, man. The sword. He got guns. He got sound weapons. He got lasers. All right. He got, he got, he going to have this whole world under lock. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So the Lord going to lift up a standard. The Lord is going to, um, the Lord is going to uh, give us the ability to uh, be able to escape those things. He's going to give us spiritual powers. What are you low-level niggas going to do? You're going to suffer. Okay, you're going to die. All right? All right, so you can't, you can't, you can't fight with Yah Basham All right, we are the sword of the spirit. All right, and that's, that's how we're going to fight. Our fight is not by carnal means. All right? So judgment is coming out. We're in the last days where Yah Basham is going to destroy two-thirds of you jakes, okay? And you're going to have to come back in the kingdom. And all you niggas that came against us, you're going to have that everlasting content. So until next time, shalom to the light.